High Court. We spoke to Julius's sister this afternoon. She says her brother was an amazing athlete here at Westlake High School, but more importantly, he was a caring, compassionate, protective brother to her. She tells me he was a perfectly healthy 17 year old up until this week and his passing is completely sudden and unexpected. He was just the kindest, sweetest soul. Jasmine Papinga and her younger brother Julius are only 18 months apart. While he excelled on the Westlake High School varsity lacrosse and football teams, she cheered alongside him. Their athleticism runs in the family too. Their father is former linebacker and Super Bowl champion Brady Papinga. We'd say, go Julius, go, or stuff like that. And it was great seeing everybody in the stands having Julius signs. He did he had such an amazing season last year, and he's such an amazing athlete, such an amazing brother. Julius was hospitalized this week after a two week long illness, which included tiredness and lethargy, according to his older sister. They thought it may have been his asthma acting up, and initially the prognosis seemed very positive. But things took a tragic turn Wednesday with his sudden death, which came as a complete shock. From her understanding, Jasmine says Julius suffered a collapsed lung and cardiac arrest during his hospital stay and never recovered. There's no warning either. It wasn't like hey, this might be your last time talking to Ju Julius on the phone. I No warnings, nothing. Julius's death has had a tremendous impact on this Westlake Village community. His friends, like Dustin Max, remember a young man who led with a sense of humor and positive outlook. He always pushed us to do better. He always had this smile on his face. It was contagious. The school principal wrote a letter home to parents saying in part, on behalf of the entire Westlake High School community, we send our deepest condolences to Julius's family, friends and teammates and everyone who had the pleasure of knowing and interacting with him. This is the second tragic death this school community has had to grapple with. In April, a man was arrested after he rammed a car into a group of students killing one and injuring three others right outside school grounds. It's definitely shaken them up and made them feel like it's like life is precious and you never know what's going to happen. Julius leaves behind three sisters, his parents and this large extended family of friends, teachers and coaches with whom he impacted. He wants us to feel the emotions of his passing, but he wants us to kind of take his passing as a motivation to do better, to be kinder to people. Julius's support system gathered here at the school for a memorial last night, and then his funeral is planned for next weekend. Right now, his family is awaiting the results of his autopsy to hopefully learn more about what may have happened and answer many of their questions. We're live in Thousand Oaks. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you.